Good morning, this is Shindo. This morning I'd like to talk about something that I was told years ago. I've done a video about this uh, rather recently. And that is, I was told some time ago that first you would see the economic collapse before the war. Now, of course, we're hearing of wars and rumors of wars right now. And something that always occurs to me when I hear rumors of wars is what I was told, oh, at least five years ago, through the Spirit, that first the economic collapse would happen, and then the war. So I want to focus on the economic collapse. The stock market is just going wild, it has been for the past several days. It really has been going pretty much up, up, up since Donald Trump was elected president. Now, my opinion on this is that those who are in the know know that this bubble is about to burst and they're making as much money as they can on it before it burst. Of course they're going to also short sell their stocks so they'll be making money when it goes up and when it comes back down. They'll be making money but when the stock market collapses and it will and it will be soon those of us who aren't even involved in the stock market like me like most of you I imagine unless you have a 401k we are going to be hurt absolutely the worst the poor will get much poorer the middle class will find out what it's like to live in poverty this is an inevitability this is going to happen. It's just a matter of time. And when you see the stock market climb and climb and climb and climb is when you should start concerning yourself with the soon coming big bubble burst that even Donald Trump mentioned when he was campaigning. It's going to happen and it's not going to stop simply because Donald Trump is president. I'm going to be reading from an article from CNBC. Any time I read from an article you can find a link in the description box. If you like what I do please comment, click like, share my videos, and subscribe to my channel. Title of this article The title of this article is Hedge Fund Legend Paul Tudor Jones says this quote terrifying chart should freak out the Fed. For all of those all of you who think I'm some kind of Illuminati member and I'm rich and I've got everything that any Illuminati member could ask for Luciferian Satanist, Gnostic, well I just had to speak over that goddamn train that comes all day and all night. I'm maybe 50 yards from the train tracks so no I'm not some Illuminati member. Hedge fund legend Paul Tudor Jones says this quote terrifying chart should freak out the Fed. Paul Tudor Jones is a reclusive hedge fund legend who never talks to the press, so much so that PTJ even tried to bury a PBS documentary featuring him in uh, from 1987 by purchasing all the available copies. But apparently he did reveal his thoughts on this market at a closed-door meeting earlier this month with Goldman Sachs and Bloomberg News has what he has allegedly said secondhand according to people who were there. CNBC has confirmed these comments with a source 
who was there. P.D.J., who made a large part of his fortune by calling the infamous stock market crash in October 1987, referred to a chart of the market's value relative to the country's economy and said it should be, quote, terrifying to central bankers, namely Federal Reserve Chief Janet Yellen, according to the report. Below is a version of the chart from the website Dishort.com. The trader said that low interest rate instituted by central bankers around the world have ballooned U.S. stock market valuations back to the 2000 levels right before the dot com bubble burst and shares plunged. The chart is sometimes called the quote Buffett indicator because the Berkshire Hathaway chairman once referred to it in an interview as one of the key measures of the valuation he tracks, CNBC pointed out at the end of last month that some investor, investors and traders were starting to discuss it once again. Back in 2000, the, va the version of the chart shows that investors had valued the stock market at more than 130% of the total economy. Today it stands around 121%, lower than that high point, but still out of whack with the average over time. The indicators basically show invest investors are unrealistically valuing future growth in the economy. Buffett has said that buying opportunity is at much lower levels below 100%. To be sure, Tudor Jones did not say it was time to bet against stocks yet, and even acknowledged that the market could go higher still if Sunday's French election goes as expected according to the report. It has gone higher. This is from last week. It has gone higher yesterday and the day before yesterday, Monday. It has reached record highs. He does believe it eventually will happen, though with a downside move exasperated by low volatility vehicles called risk party funds. The Nasdaq Composite Index posted a record close Thursday as investors continue to believe higher earnings and President Donald Trump will justify current levels. Two investigating legends apparently disagree. I can tell you that when they are telling you that the stock market knows no bounds. It's never, ever going to end. That is when you should start worrying. Those of you who do have money in the stock market, but most of us, if we have anybody in the stock market, it's because of our uh, 401k. And for some of you, Many of you have a 401k. I don't even, I don't even have that. I also don't believe that invest in, investing in precious metals is the go-to thing to do. At least not on the long term. If you invest in precious metals, I suggest that, say, silver. I would sell silver at about $30 an ounce, which is, it has been up to $30 an ounce since I've bought silver, uh, since I've been buying it over several, over the last several years. And I don't think it's going to go any higher than that, $30 an ounce, but that's almost twice as much as it's been lately. So, my suggestion. And you know, I'm no I'm no expert about this. I just know what I've been told and I know when it's most wise to go against the flow is when everybody thinks something is gonna happen. It generally does not happen. The opposite seems to happen. Uh, do you remember just what, two weeks ago? when the Syrian strikes happen and everybody was saying World War III is just around the corner and I said no this is not World War III 
Folks, if people believe it and everybody is looking towards it, I can guarantee you it's going to be the exact the exact opposite. It always is. The wise person sits back and is someone who is just a witness to these things. They're on the outside looking in. Don't get don't let yourself get wrapped up with what society tells you is happening I can guarantee you and it's going to happen sooner than you think this economy is not just going to have a bad day it is on the verge of collapsing and when it does the only thing that's going to try they're going to use to try to pull us out of of it is war and this is going to happen this is going to happen in a matter of well it's going to happen sooner than you think sooner than I think so the wise man sees the way the world is moving and realizes that the world is in enmity against the spirit and realize that if you're of the spirit you go against what the world tells you is really going on because what really is going on is we are about to see this economic collapse and then shortly afterwards the war now I tell people these things not to make them afraid but to get them prepared. I tell them for the opposite reason. I want them not to be afraid. If you come to grips with the reality of the situation that you're in, then you're going to be less inclined to be afraid. When you get hit by something that you don't expect, then fear and anger is usually what rules but if you expect it, you see it coming, you can keep your head about you while everyone else is losing theirs. This is Shindo. Have a good Wednesday.